in today's class we'll be designing the main beams in this structure we have our main beams at this level and this level so we can select any of the levels and design it as our main beam they are they are, they are typically the same thing yes so this structure is a uh, is what we have modeled together in this channel and we have also loaded it if you look at here you see the primary load which we applied on this structure and this primary load we have a template that uh, we that helped us to calculate and generate the loads a well programmed template which is up for your grab the link to get this template is in my in the description this template has load combination as well well and detailed um, from FLS equilibrium ultimate geotechnical and ultimate structure this template is a uh, as per euro code you can see the euro code reference this is template I used to do all my concrete building designs so if you are an engineer a civil engineer or architect and you are doing structural designs you need this template to make your work easier and faster so the the, the price is not much um, after some time i will definitely increase the price for now i slashed it to about 50 percent so the earlier you grab it the better for you so just a quick check if you like for this parapet if i change the parapet depth to 700 you see what happened so it is a program a programmed excel sheet calculation sheets programmed for your use so just click the link in the description and make your payment then you have access to this editable copy yeah okay so we continue with our design like i always tell you each time you close your work on star pro and you're back to it the first thing you do is to rerun the analysis just rerun the analysis yeah zero error and zero warning that's good then we go to al cdc to, so that we can do our beam design in our previous class we did roof design roof beam design so this one is going to be the main beam so here you fill in the information the project name um, building building design this one is a uh, client name all right, uh, the name of the client, Mr. ABC. Engineer's name, Engineer XYZ. XYZ. Then here I will select the code uh, 2004. Yeah. So I'm about to design a beam. So the, the main beam lies at this level, 3 meters and 6 meters. So is either I choose to design my 6M and whatever I get here, I will use it for my 3M or I, I do the other way around. So is this, they are, the two are the same thing, they are typical. So I will just select one. So let me use this uh, the one at uh, 3 meters and I'll click on create project. If you are here to subscribe to my channel, I will, I will beg you to do that right away. Just take two seconds and click the subscribe button. It is free of charge. Nobody is charging you for subscribing. If you if you have found my content useful and educative, you should subscribe so that each time I post in a new video, a new lesson, a new class, you will be notified. So as you do that, uh, uh, thank you. Okay, so this is the, the beam layout at uh, 3 meter level. 
this is the beam layout let me first of all edit the beam description i'll put the name here in full beam click on set and okay that's good so instead of b1 b2 you have beam 1 beam 2 beam 3 which is very fantastic so as i highlight a a name here you see the beam there you know so you see g2 you see the beam there g3 the beam there is highlighted on the preview so that's good so under g1 you see um span by span of the beams Okay, we we'll go to the settings. We have general and general and reinforcement. So for here we I will increase the concrete strength to 2530, the shield grade to 410, the cover we use 30 mm, maximum aggregate size okay is okay 25, and that's good. So uh reinforcement main steel rebar main steel minimum reinforcement should be 12 and maximum 16 that's good share steel reinforcement okay use 10 mm. maximum should be 12 uh this one we use 12 and 16 and that's good Ma minimum spacing for my steel up uh, use 150 maximum spacing 225 now click ok and go back to settings again rebar curtailment i don't have anything i'm doing here okay it's good so i'll go to detailing and drawing settings so i'll just change my rebar mark to h yeah and use it here to it here that's good then i'll go to basic load cases these are the loads which we we already have in our analysis in our start through analysis or the primary load we generated with our template so automatically the star pro um rcdc will just pick it from the star pro and uh, star pro and bring it here so what i need to do here is to to indicate which one is dead and which one is live so the self weight is dead load the parapet load is dead the beam load is also dead the this one is dead as well then we, um this one is live load wind in x direction wind in minus x direction wind in z and z again so i will select all these i will select all these and push it to this other side now click ok so here now i'll i'll, I'll add from analysis so this is to bring the load combination which i've done in my analysis to this place instead of doing another one manually i'll just click on it and automatically it has appeared here these are my load combinations in the my, in my analysis so it has brought it here and it's going to design this member using this uh, this load combinations so that's good so i'll click ok so when i'm done with all my settings i'll click on this design oh let's wait for it to come up yeah this is the beam so all my beams passed as you can see everything is okay everything passed we have uh, two H12, two H12 everywhere. There is no H16 anywhere for my beams, so everything is okay. Okay, let's uh, go through the sections and elevation. 
let me just select one beam I will need the elevation yes I will need cross section yes I will need the cross beam yes mark anchors yes show section mark here yeah. so I will click ok so we'll be taken to DXF automatically that's good to so see this is the beam a particular beam I, I selected is this one you see the detail cut a section is cut at every span yes and if you look at here you see uh, even beam, section of beam one here you see the number of reinforcement four and the link inside the, the software have done the drawing for you the, what is remaining is just to clean it up you know and check the scale when you get a back sheet uh, of your choice the one you're using for your for your drawing then you determine the paper size you're using is either a1 a3 so that will now speak to the scale which we use for this drawing and all this text text height the arrowhead are supposed to be in agreement with your scale yeah even the dimension height the settings you need to do your dimension settings with skill so all this is what i will i will still you know, show you how to do i will just um, stay tuned in my channel you, you have a lot to learn together yeah so i also develop a template for you a beam template where you all the line width you know i have a, i'll create a layers for every element of this drawing and uh, it do a standard uh, dimension settings for you so that when you when you finish your work and you get it in uh, uh, in DXF like this, just take it to my template environment, then uh, the work is done for you. So very soon that will be available. Yeah. So okay, let's get to see other outputs from RCDC. So this is the uh, design summary. Design summary is uh, you can decide decide to attach design summary to your report. If anybody that sees the summary knows that you know uh, every, everything is okay like this beam one three and um, the thickness is one is two two five five four fifty it's our input data one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten twenty eleven twenty twelve twenty thirteen twenty fourteen twenty fifteen twenty sixteen twenty seventeen twenty eighteen twenty nineteen twenty 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 H12 like that. So this is summary of of the report. So if you need a detailed report, you click on this for all the beams. You wait for it to come. Yeah, that's good. See all the very long very long so if it if is the detailed report you want to use so this is the detailed one you can just attach it to your report and that's how that solves your headache and that's wonderful so if we have the field beam you can you can get a failure diagnostics from here you know, but we don't have any none of the beams have failed so we don't we don't need it here so we can as well generate a bill of quantities you know but we'll do that on a separate day we can also generate a bbs what is bbs bar bending schedule yeah you can generate a bbs that's good i think i also generate a, a, a bbs template yeah in case after your work, every engineer, when you only finish your uh, autocad drawings of detailed reinforcement, you will definitely uh, produce a bar bending schedule for that. So I will, I will develop a template for that for people that will need it. Yes. So this is uh, for beam design for this this uh, life project I'm working on. Uh, so we end here today. Next time we do the column column design. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, I, I, I beg you to simply do that and um, do that right away and also um, grab this template now that it has subsidized rate. 
very cheap just click the link to find out how much it is and make your payment as soon as we receive we confirm your payment is automated even if you pay me at midnight from any location you are you can pay with your preferred currency naira dollar anything is there very flexible so once you make your payment you get access to this uh, editable editable uh, template okay see you next time see you next time thank you